Five. His shot rejected. The run out. Jalen Green. What's good, YouTube? If you love basketball, you have come to the right place. My name is Wiseman, and in today's video, I am so hyped to talk about Jalen Green because this kid is a future all star. All right, so I know you guys saw the title of this video, and you're like, Wiseman, Bradley Beal, this kid's only 19 and he's in the G League. That's a reach. It's not a reach. All right, guys, I just watched four hours of film from Jalen's team Ignite in the G League and this kid is the truth all right I've been following him throughout high school I've been watching him climb the ranks and I actually traveled to New York City at Dykeman Park in 2019 to watch this kid hoop in person unicorn fam what are you saying Jalen Green if you're watching this big shout out to you keep doing your thing you are gonna kill it but anyways guys this kid is sick and I knew he was sick but I just witness some breathtaking film i'm gonna be sharing this film with you guys and i'm gonna be comparing him to bradley beal because these kids well not kids jalen green is actually very similar in his playing style to bradley beal all right they're both two guards and they're both like relatively oversized jalen green comes in at 6'6 with an amazing frame for the nba they're both extremely athletic they both finish have a sick finishing package through contact through traffic they can both shoot off the dribble they shoot nicely from the three but you guys are going to see that yourself and you can make the decision whether or not you think i'm a clown or if i'm spitting facts now i don't want to you know overstep and i don't want to reach but i swear to you guys i was watching some of this film and the way this kid glides through the air it kind of reminds me of Michael Jordan. Now, to all my Filipino brothers out there, I know how much you guys love basketball, and I'm super hyped because Jalen Green is about to show the world just how elite you guys are. Now, without further ado, I know this is what y'all have been waiting for, so let's hop in the film room and take a look at Jalen Green's game. All right, I'm gonna be putting Jalen Green's footage first in different categories, and then I'm gonna be showing you Bradley Beal highlights so that you guys can see just how similar their games are. Without further ado, guys, let's take a look at why Jalen Green is so damn elite. All right, so the first aspect of Jalen Green's game that is so elite is his ability to create off the dribble. Now, we all know as a two guard, especially going into the NBA, you are going to have to be able to serve buckets at an elite level, and Jalen Green does just that. Now, here we're gonna see one of his favorite moves is the pullback, and in a few moments, we are also gonna take a look at Bradley Beal's scoring ability, and Bradley Beal also loves this pullback. Now, the best part about this is that Jalen Green also adds a step back, which allows him to get back to that three-point line, and then hit a three-pointer, which we know the NBA is moving towards a lot more threes. Like I said, guys, here we're gonna see Bradley Beal. He loves the same pullback, and this just shows that the way these guys get buckets are very similar. And you know, it's not a bad thing to be compared to Bradley Beal. Next up, we're gonna see Jalen Green, you know, work one-on-one -on -one and then jam the brakes. And this is a very elite score move to be able to change pace. Here, we're also gonna see Bradley Beal just change pace, a nice little pivot, and get the bucket. Next up, we are also going to see just an easy screen, but then look how fluid Jalen Green comes off that motion and just hits his jumper. Once again, Bradley Beal, same thing, off the screen, no one's going to step up, very fluid motion, these guys are comfortable. Yet again, Jalen Green's going to have a nice little combo in the corner and then just rise up for the three. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at Bradley Beal. Very similar combo, step back to the three. These guys just get buckets. Now, this is something I didn't know Jalen Green had in his bag. A nice little post fadeaway. And at 6'6", with such an athletic frame and ability, he can just elevate over defenders. Here, we're gonna see him hand down, man down. I'm just gonna elevate over you and I'm gonna hit from deep. So, you know, we're going to take a look at Bradley Beal, but Bradley Beal is the same type of cat, all right? If you have your hand down and he's just going to let it rip, here we're going to see him over Draymond Green, 
and he's just gonna let it rip guys he's got great elevation and he's got a great shot from deep and if you don't challenge him this guy is gonna give you a terrible day and you're gonna get ripped by your coach Jalen's next skill is his god-given athleticism and like Bradley Beal this kid just finishes everything above the rim it gets the crowd excited, it gets his team hyped, and man oh man is an asset to be able to have this much bounce at the two spot. You know, we're going to see a blow by here, and instead of a lay, it's a crazy dunk above the rim. Also, if we take a look at Bradley Beal, he does these same things. He has that sneaky bounce, and it is just so electrifying to see a two guard get up like these two guys do. Once again, we're going to take a look. Bradley Beal on the fast break, give it to him, and instead he gets challenged, but he's still going to finish it above the rim. Absolutely insane. Also, Jalen Green on the fast break. I mean, if you just throw him the lob, he's going to finish that above the rim. Wow, look at this kid leap. Crazy athleticism. Like I said, guys, I did get a chance to see him in New York City, and he was finishing alley-oops just the same way hyping up the crowd and just rocking the rim. This kid really gets up and I, I wonder what his um, vertical leap is. But like I said, Bradley Beal, same thing. You have these set plays or you have transition like we're going to see here, set play and Bradley Beal is just going to dunk on you. Like this dude's only 6'4", 6'5". Look at this bounce, Jalen Green. He gets the ball, no dribbles, just up with it. Bradley Beal, same thing. These guys are big, but they just... They have so much bounce, man, and it's just crazy to see. Look at this. These two plays I'm showing you aren't dunks. However, they demonstrate how athletic Jalen Green is, and look at this. Look at him glide through the air. Man, that reminds me of MJ. The last elite aspect of Jalen's game surprised me the most. Now, I knew he was a good finisher, but this kid is an elite finisher in traffic. We saw how athletic he is, and with a 6'6 frame and a long, wiry build, he can just finish with the best of them through contact, through traffic. Like, look at this. Gets hit in the air, goes up with it like he's going to dunk, back down, and cradles it. Once again, he just lives in the air. It seems like he's never going to come down. He gets challenged by centers. And keep in mind, G League centers aren't as big as the big boys in the NBA. But if he can keep up this ability to finish in traffic, I mean... It is just so impressive. It really brings his entire game together because he can always get to the basket with his athleticism and dribbling. But then if he can just finish like over a seven footer like this, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, this is just, this kid has the whole package. And in a second, we are going to see that Bradley Beal finishes very similar but we're still not done watching Jalen Green. I mean, look at this, just the way he glides through the air. I know I said this already, guys, but it kind of reminds me of Michael Jordan. Now, I don't want to, you know, Michael Jordan's crazy, but Jalen Green just flies through the air and it looks like poetry. Now, we are going to take a look at Bradley Beal because the comparison is with him. And as you can see, Bradley Beal is a master of using his body to create contact, but then finish with such balance and poise, just like that he did on Montrez Harrell. Once again, attacking the center, and he just has such strength and control when he glides through the air. It really reminds me of Jalen Green. It is just, I cannot stress this enough, guys. It is such a skill to be able to finish. Welcome like this. back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed today's film breakdown of Jalen Green and comparing him to Bradley Beal. Now, if you haven't yet, make sure to like this video. It really helps support my channel and allows more people to see the video. Right now, I'm sitting at only 124 subscribers, but I live, sleep, and breathe basketball, so I'm really trying to turn my passion into a career and share it with all of you guys. Now, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the heat that I drop in the near future. Until next time, guys, my name is Wiseman. This has been Better Through Ball. I'm going to head out. What I want you guys to do last is drop your takes. Is Jalen Green the next Bradley Beal or is he going to be even better? Also, let me know which player you want to see broken down next and I will definitely do them. Peace, guys.